Hi guys, welcome back to Origami Twist and yet another Daily December video. Um, this particular one is an adorable little puppy dog and it is one of those ones that if you're kind of new to origami, this is a pretty straightforward one. So a great one to do with your kids on holidays. Okay, you need one square sheet of paper to start. I'm using origami paper, two, two colors, but if you've got plain um, paper from your printer, that's fine, as long as it's cut into a square shape. And I'll put a link below to a video I've done on how to make a square out of a rectangle, if you're not sure. Um, all of that will be below. Okay, let's make a puppy dog. We're going to take one corner of your paper, bring it up to the opposite corner. Then open it up, and bring the other corner up to the opposite corner so that when you're finished folding you have an X marked, in, marked into your paper and essentially that creates a center point. We're going to work with that center point where the two X, where the two lines intersect by taking all four corners and bringing them into the center one at a time. So there's one point into the center noting that the crease is lined up with the rest of the crease, so it's a nice straight line going straight through your paper. And also keeping in mind that you don't want that point to go past the crease because it uh, won't fold properly later on. So right up to it, if anything, just shy of it. And do the same all the way around. Now you'll probably notice that my folds here aren't perfect because I think a square may be slightly not a square. If you've got a tiny little gap, that will be okay. Uh, there aren't a lot of folds in this particular model, so you should be all right with tiny little gaps. But try to get it as accurate as possible. That'll give you your best looking finished product. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like videos like this. I will. I have plans for next year that are pretty exciting. And of course, um, you know, I'll have some more Daily December videos and there are heaps of videos on my channel already, so please consider checking them out. Okay, so the next step, once you've folded everything in, so all the points are in the center, is to take the one on the left and open it up. Now you'll notice that the two creases that have been created just here create an intersection as well. We're going to do the same thing we did before, only this time we're going to bring, bring the point in to where those lines intersect. So just like so. So the crease that's going through here will be a nice straight line with the rest of the crease. And again, just into that where the two creases intersect. And then fold it in. So now it looks like you've got a little triangle cut out there. That is actually going to be the nose of your puppy dog. Now we're going to go across the way to this flap here. And you're going to take this point and bring it open. Except not all the way open, we're only going to fold it part of the way. So I would say go about three quarters of the way down this crease and make the crease there. And you can decide how big you want or small you want it to be. Practice folding on some, maybe some newspaper or printer paper and decide how big that tail should be. I'm going about three quarters of the way. You can go as far as you like. And we're finished. So there's the, there's the nose and the tail. Now this section here is going to be the body. And we're going to start making the body by folding one edge up to the opposite edge and folding everything in half like a sandwich and crease and there will already be a crease there so it should be pretty straightforward of where to fold so there's your puppy dog tail coming out here and you know your nose is tucked in there so I'm going to turn this over and continue folding so you've got a little triangle pointing up and away this way and a rectangle and the open side is facing you we're now going to create a crease using this point where my left hand is and this point where my right hand is as the two pivot points for the crease. So when I fold up, 
I'm going to be making a crease. Now, if you're new to origami, this is, next bit is a little bit tricky, but while you're doing that, you just want to pop this little triangle out. So it was tucked under, we're going to pop it out and then make the crease. And the reason we're doing that first is because otherwise we'll end up with a crease along here and it won't stand up as neatly. It's not the end of the world if you forget, um, but ideally you want to pop that triangle out first. Okay, and you can sort of see, sort of see him starting. There's his nose and this is his long ears and fur. There you go. And crease. So I'm making sure that it's pivoting on these two points. Now we're going to turn the paper over and like with many things in origami, we're actually going to repeat the fold only in mirror image. So rather than doing these two corners, we're going to do these two corners. And you know to do that because we're not folding the tail. So fold the opposite of the tail. And you can use this fold that you've done previously as a guide. Don't forget to pop that triangle out and take this point, bring it up to the other point. And provided you folded the first one correctly, it should go right into place and pivot down here. So pivoting on these two points and fold. And look at that, he almost looks like a puppy dog. Now a couple more little cosmetic things and then we're finished. So this fold that you created before, that you know tucked it in, you'd think it would be triangle shaped, except if you stick your finger behind his ear and push with your thumb, notice I'm holding onto the top of his ear here, it'll actually come undone and you can flatten it down to make a beautiful box shaped nose. And there you go. And you can also see how having a two color paper may actually work better for you because it differentiates the neck from his face. It's okay if you don't, but um, yeah, it's kind of interesting. All right, so he should be able to stand on his own at this stage, but if you want to, and you've got a marker or a pen handy, crayon, you can pull out your marker and give him a little nose and a little eye. And where you put his eye and the size of his eye and the size of his nose will change how he looks. Now isn't that just gorgeous? And you can give him an eye and a nose on the other side if you're putting him on display. But how cute is that? Your kids are going to love it, your grandkids are going to love it, and I hope that you loved folding it today. Have a great day guys, we'll see you again tomorrow for another Origami Twist video, and uh, take care. Bye bye.